Welcome back. Today happens to be Groundhog Day and the famous furry rodent had his yearly debut to predict how early or late spring will come. KTTC's Camaria Bray checked with Rochester residents about the groundhog's forecast. Camaria. Bear, the groundhog named Punxsutawney Phil woke up this morning and did not see his shadow. The legend is, is when he doesn't see his shadow, spring comes early. And if he does, then we have six more weeks left of winter. And I asked a few people about the prospect of an early end to winter this year. For there is no shadow of me, spring will be early. It's a certainty. Temperatures Sunday in Rochester were well above freezing, which made Phil's prediction all that more believable. So I asked people downtown if they want the early spring prediction to be true. I think it's great. Uh, I'm kind of done with winter. So yeah. that's actually where we're out because it's a nice, it almost feels like spring. Others agreed. I kind of, I want it to be over, to be honest. It's, there's been so many crazy storms that have happened in the last couple of years that I'm kind of over winter mm -hmm. and I just kind of want to be done so really hoping that the groundhog is right this year. <laughs> but one person likes the colder weather. I mean I'm a winter guy. I like watching football and hockey in the snow so I'm not too keen on early spring. Now the animal rights organization called PETA wants to get rid of a groundhog for this celebration. They suggest using a robot instead but some people in Rochester feel different about that opinion. They only use a groundhog once a year and for all we know they could just release it back into the wild or have it captivated. I don't know I think that'd be kind of silly. You're fine I mean, with it. I'm fine with the tradition. He seems pretty well cared for. I think having a robot wouldn't make it as personal and I don't know, I don't think it would be as cool. Whether you trust the groundhog or not, his tradition continues and soon we'll see if Phil was right. We should note Phil did not see his shadow last year and we had snow through April. We asked for your reaction on Facebook to see if you wanted early spring or not and 92% of you want early spring and 8% do not. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Kamaria Bray, KTTC News.